Okay, YouTube family. Now that we know this mugshot of straight drop was just fake to the core. Now that we know about the fakeness of this, do you guys think in the situations that we are in, situations that we're going through, do you even think that straight drop will have a possibility of flipping? And not only just that, do you think JoJo Splat will actually get caught up in the near future do you think they will try to say it's him i don't know we're gonna break this down in the right way the right spectrums of things i just need y'all to hit that like button hit that notification bell and come rock out with i smoke hip-hop live i'm your guy dj bless one smooth transitioning out to the music and the beat let's go Now we know with the death of Young Dolph, it's a whole lot of cap activity going on in these YouTube streets. Now Young Dolph death merits the attention that he gets, don't get me wrong, but there's been a lot of people who have been talking about Jojo Splat's been arrested and I'm here to say he hasn't been arrested yet. Now, just cause he hasn't been arrested yet and those rumors and situations was false and fake, it doesn't mean he ain't about to be caught up. Now, that's the thing I want everybody to understand. It does not mean he's home free. We do know there's a lot of things transpiring out there in the Memphis street. A 11-year-old girl, allegedly educational purpose, just got hit up the other day. And it's not really allegedly. I'm saying that for YouTube purposes. And it's a lot of get back that people are trying to do in the streets relating to justin johnson and cornelius smith and shondell barnett the three people who were arrested not jojo splat but jojo splat might be a target he already is a target in the street just having his name and limbo being connected to young Dolph. we already know that part when you connect yourself in the streets things happen y'all it's not me picking and choosing this is just legally legitimately what karma is and what karma happens now for people to port, point him out and start putting jojo splat in fake waves and all that where well it's because they put themselves in harm's way with certain things and clout chases they were doing we're gonna go to those jojo splat news but i wanted to go to what the news show to make people remember who they're mainly focused and targeted on That's where we find you. And Jeremy, you found out about the two arrests even before the district attorney made that public statement. You've got some really good sources that have helped you from the very beginning with this one. Yes, indeed. And understanding that yesterday we didn't know the name of that second shooter up until about, I say, about two o'clock yesterday at about 145 he became an inmate here at 201 his name is cornelius smith and again right up until yesterday afternoon around 145 he happened to be an inmate in the desoto county jail He's, he was being held on theft charges of that white Mercedes-Benz used as the getaway car in the murder of young Dolph. Now, up until yesterday, again, he was described as shooter number two. Police arrested Cornelia Smith December 9th in DeSoto County. And that just goes to show you how far along Memphis police and other investigators have been in this investigation. Within a matter of minutes of learning about Cornelia Smith, I then got a call from three independent sources, basically breaking down that U.S. Marshals had just captured Justin Johnson in Terre Haute, Indiana. That's about five and a half hours away from Memphis. Johnson is right now on his way back to Memphis to formally face his charges here at 201. Now, of course, we're going to continue to stay on top of this story, but let me tell you what's expected to happen today. We are expecting to hear from District Attorney Amy Warrick, as well as Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis. They are going to basically speak on the arrest of these two men later on. Reporting live this morning here at 201, Jeremy Pierre, Fox 13 News. Jeremy, you said that Cornelia Smith had been locked up in, in, in Mississippi in connection with that white Mercedes. 
What is his connection to the house in Memphis where that Mercedes was found? Well, let me tell you, his connection to that uh, basically the car. Smith is accused of carjacking that white Mercedes mm. Benz at a gas station on Kirby back on November 10th. That's seven days before the murder of young Dolph. Now, you just heard they said Cornelius Smith jacked the video seven days prior to his situation. Y'all just heard him. Seven days before that situation, he jacked the car. This is their mentality, and this is how they know they're going to arrest who's ever involved because it's folks snitching on their own selves. Y'all get what I'm saying? Speaking of snitching on your own self, let's go back to some videos to break it down how folks was telling on their own self the whole damn time. I don't want to ride right now. Hey, yo, Bob's gonna drop y'all. For a drop. I gotta give me 10k on drop. Oh, yeah, I already gave you 10k. <laughs> Bet you hate it on my 10k. Baby, 7k. Because I, I ain't even no rap family. I just gave me my little fine guy on top. Yeah, I got on top of that. Just get a thousand boy. For a moment. Oh no. Well, it's not the night. I'm finna drop on them folks there, though. And they finna be like, damn. They finna be like, that's the money he got from Dolph. <laughs> oh, I didn't do that. Oh, been God. Nigga, been having tea. Been having wreck. For like JoJo be on power. How you know I do? How you have no Joe B tweet? Yeah, you know my nose. You shoot the nigga code. Know my nose been big, not Miami. For sure. Now I had to talk about his nose. Now you could. You could literally see on the videos how they continue to just spiral out of control with the name dropping and the suspect allegations and, and saying certain things and activity. That's on my honest opinion what really get you caught up to say these names and not think about the consequences and repercussions for what you say on the internet the internet the place where dudes get undefeated and it don't mean you win because you hear the word undefeated it mean it's always the same thing a continuous cycle dudes be tapping themselves out the game in the worst way i'm talking about the worst way possible so when we see people saying this and they come out and about to talk it out and not hell no nah, gang you done mess up yourself in a situation or predicament that you gotta blame yourself only you can't look at everybody and keep saying everybody snitched on you everybody did x y and z you gotta blame yourself i mean look at this it's a whole story behind this man I tell him take that off his head. <laughs> I see his face. Bust up, bust up, hit his face. Thought he was up on the table. <laughs> bust up got his shit. Nigga, we say he be with a bust up. Big ass clock. His face. Switch, switch, his face. Now, these guys are talking about Dolph being hit in the face with the stick. You feel what I'm saying? They doing a whole lot that's going to get people mad, if not already got people mad about them. And, and that's the thing we was trying to tell y'all. Now, this is some more name dropping that JoJo Splat and the crew and the gang was doing. Right now, go beat the hoe and send me the video cash out. I swear to God. Sad ass 
sad, sick ass hoe. I ain't got no clothes on, junk ass hoe. Dark depression, sad hoe. Stunk ass hoe. I ain't on the couch. I'm just doing this shit for my nigga. Now I fuck with you. I don't know what's going on with this. I hope everything get all right for everybody involved. It's a lot of brazy situation. The streets is hot. Folks in them is definitely going to continue to pick size. As you can see, they ain't going to stop it. I think we got to be the ones to look deep into our own selves and, and think about how things can become better. But I'm not out here to preach. I'm just out here to teach and giving that game and knowledge to what we already seen out here. You feel me? Look, man, I'm your DJ, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Make sure you love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and rock out, family. Look, peace. I'm about to be out in this peace, man. Love, blessing, and soul.